Welcome back to GSL Coda. So we got a PvP coming up for you guys. Nest T uh, losing a very close series there. Yes. Virus is good. He deserves to be out of the group. And I want to point out, uh, either MC or Nest T definitely won't make it. They both cannot make it. Kind of crazy. Uh, you know, we've already had DRG eliminated, Jock G eliminated, and now either Nest T or MC will be eliminated. MVP almost was. It's like... A lot of great players around nowadays, and by the way, someone tweeted at me actually and let me know. This week, these four matches, the group winners have all been from Star Tail or Quantic, which has that little partnership. Oh wow, that's, that's a really sick, good point. Huh? Yeah. <clears throat> it's quite a little training setup they got there then. Yeah, they're kicking ass. Alright. Nice this is um, a match I'm really excited to see. Two old friends, they were formerly the best PvPers in the world, both of them. They both had like 90% back in the early seasons of GSL. Which is absolutely yeah, no, they were, insane. They were gods. I would have put, in my opinion, Inca maybe just a little bit better way back, but then MC uh, took the lead and uh, became the better PvPer. And, you know, nowadays, uh, falling off a little bit overall. Uh, I wouldn't put either of these guys as the best, but we will see how they do against each other here now. I want to see if Inca still has that same intelligent strategy, Tasteless. We'll see Inca, style, gonna be origins of all crazy PvP, now going up against essentially the most legendary Protoss player that there is right now. Or one of them. Top three. You know what I mean. This is He's the most the legendary. Yeah, yeah. All right, good. Nenewa's pretty legendary, but yeah. All right. One of our two Protosses in the upper left. Old school, all the way from start of GSL season number one. We have... OGS Inca. OGS Inca. OGS Inca. That's right. I said it. <laughs> and in the bottom right, a legendary player, the Obama Toss, the Kratos Protoss. His ID is... SKMC. SKMC. A lot of... Uh, Audience support here for uh, MC. Of course, he's not, not he shocking. Is, uh, time and again, a fan favorite in any tournament in the world that he goes to. Fans here wishing him good luck. That fan is from, a fan Hong from Hong Kong. There he is. He says hi. Hi, guy. I've been to Hong Kong. I've been through C the airport times. many times, but I actually You actually should check out Hong Kong. I've been to Hong Kong about no, like four I, times. I definitely want to. It's on my list. I've been there four times. No, I've probably been there three times. All right, so the arcades in Hong Kong are sick. Oh, yeah. oh dude. Oh, yeah. They're so cool. Wow. Well, have to check that out, Tasis. Yep. MC being the first to scout here. I don't blame him. Inca is a tricky guy. Have to figure out what he's doing. Right now, the builds are basically the same, except a little quicker scout by MC. Notice he is blocking that gas yep. a little bit. Ooh, oops, Inca tried, takes it real tried. quick. Yeah, you Inca. can actually put a probe next to, uh, or, or a drone or SUV or anything, and if you park it next to their gas, in the right position. In the right position, they can't build the gas. Yeah. So then you have uh, to chase him away. But then he harassed him, now, so Inca just took it real quick. Now, uh, it looks like uh, Inca is 0-3 on this map. Although, then again, if you look at MC's numbers here, they're not very good either, so... Mm. I do wonder how many of those are PvPs as well. Oh, that's a good point as well. Because in this matchup, the uh, map... I mean, it, it matters, because it matters what style you want to use, but it's not necessarily like, oh, I just am bad against Zerg here. So, both players sitting on just one gate. So, there might be a little micro battle for map control. Because map control is something that can be quite powerful in this matchup. Inca taking that watchtower right away. Sending out stalkers. MC deciding to just stay at home. Now, is he going to throw down a Robo? Yes, he is. Yep. Inca, on the other hand, is he going to throw down a Twilight or a Robo? And... Oh, he's, he's starting up a sentry, actually. Note this probe from Inca, just out of sight, uh, excuse me, mm -hmm. of, of his own units at the Watchtower. I'm not the mini I did not watch the mini-map correctly. <laughs> um, 
But Inca, yeah, does have um, center map control. Now there's a probe coming out here. And we're going to have their first engagement. Now will he spot the probe? Uh, yeah, he sees it. He sees it. Uh, you but know, he has, he has care. a sentry back home. And both of them are going robo. A little bit later for Inca here. I'm, like, really stoked to see exactly what type of robo play we're going to see out of these two players. And Inca realizing, oh, too much stuff up there. Too many sentries. I can't do anything. Time to turn around. MC's probe, though, is still out there. Still walking around. You never know what he's going to do with it. Inca has actually two sentries. I think he's just going to go for an expansion. Whereas MC already getting out an immortal. If you um, and I'm not even I'm not even like trying to play dumb here, like because I'm I'm actually curious what you think about this. Sometimes yeah. I ask you questions because I know it's what the audience needs to be told. But um, can you uh, if he goes the three gate robo, um, yeah. and it, well I guess he's going for Colossus now. But if he did try to do some kind of push against what Inca's doing uh, before Colossus, could he hold that with just sentries yeah. and his his own immortal? The uh, you can hold. Uh, because there is that ramp, the sentries can help you to actually hold against just a straight-up push. Thing is, uh, as soon as you get ahead in units, it tumbles out of control because you have that nexus as well. Right. So just a few good force fields is what you really need. Uh, but at the same time, this is... Uh, if, for instance, Inca goes up into uh, just a lot of Immortals and a Warp Prism, then that can be really strong against any quick Colossus push. Now, is MC actually going to go Colossus here is the question. Because right now, yep, he is. Okay, so that's going to be his shield breaker in this situation. Now, Inca, he is making more mortals, And the, the one thing that uh, MC really is going to have going for him is that Inca has no way to deal with force fields. So MC is going to have a way to deal with force fields. Inca is not. Normally with this, uh, oftentimes, not every time, but uh, you will see a warp prism also out of Inca, <coughs> so that he can actually deal yeah. with that by flying around, because, I mean, if you're going Colossus real quick, you don't have a lot of stalkers to take care of a uh, warp prism flying around. Right, so. right. And in fact, Inca is getting that warp prism, so there you go. He realizes that, hey, Good call. you know, without that, uh, force fields will actually just dominate. So now, Inca is actually, I, don't, I mean... I, I'm curious about Inca actually being out on the map like this. Yeah, he's going into, like, a weird position here, and MC, it looks like he wants to trap him, uh, little, little to his nut. I'm, I'm worried for Inca here. If, I mean, if he gets caught out here, I think he, he's going to get stuck. He in the might. Upper right side of the map. I mean, MC has to be careful not leave oh with these stalkers. God. And in fact, he's, he's like drawing him way far away. And now he's even killed off Inca's observer. All right. Well, let's see how this goes. Uh, and look at that. The war prism trying to come in. Inca in actually uh, infinity trouble. All right. Uh, so Inca is now kind of trapped up here. So if he can trade favorably here, if he can kill a lot with what he has, it's going to be good. Now, of course, MC is counterattacking at the same time. This game is so weird right now. And look at this. MC leaving a sentry to force field everything up the ramp, Tasteless. Oh, my God. That's so sick. So Inca is dead. MC <laughs> has completely in every way outplayed him this He's game. He's just trapped his arm in the upper right. That's so funny. Inca should not have been way out there on the map, Tasteless. Really nice play there. Uh, that's so funny. Yeah. That is still, still suck up there. Wow. All right, so... Uh, so that's game. Yeah, Inca... Sorry, man. Uh, sorry, Inca. <laughs> this is actually embarrassing. Um, well, that is know, a really a really cool play, though. The, the problem is that Inca was way out there on the side of the map with an observer chasing him. Like, if an observer wasn't chasing him even, he would have been fine. But yeah. the fact that MC knew where he was and how many units he had, of course MC on one base can go kill the expander. You have to use position and you have to use your warp prism that he was making to actually be able to do anything there. So, I it mean, looks like Inca's Inca trying to go for a base trade. Big mistake, man. Uh, well, yeah, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> you got the point. What? He just managed to block up that part of the army too. I think that was a. Uh, was that not his own force field, so the probes couldn't get out? Because you don't no, want no, the probes no, no, to escape no, no, in a base that, that was actually oh, okay. uh, him sure. delayed. All right, well, I mean... Uh, All right, well... Uh, interesting scenario. He wants to get every single probe. There's now, like three pylons left on the map, Frank. He's going to be revealed soon. Uh, MC has buildings that Inca cannot get through. 
Yeah, yeah. So at this point, let me look at the unit count. It is, yep, 12 Zealots to 6, 2 Immortals to 1, with Inca in the lead there. Uh, a Colossus, and then 8 Stalkers against 2, and 3 Sentries against 2. Uh, basically unlosable for MC. Yep. Looks like he's going to try to play it safe instead of actually going for the base trade. He's just going to go back here and win this fight, and we will be going on into game number 2 very soon. Yep. Uh, Inca right now kind of needs to be in a different position than he's The in. funny thing is that uh, Inca does enough money to uh, get a Nexus. Throws up a force field under the Colossus. Uh, and yeah, this is... Should be seen GG. There you go. There it is, GG. There you have it. All right. Um, again, the the opening by Inca was cool. It was good. Except for being chased by an observer and walking across the map so that he could be trapped. MC, Dude, very have, have smart. The cool. way he left that sentry to force field was auto win. Thing is, just that was one of the best plays that I've, I've seen actually. Just yeah, for that weird yeah. situation, chasing that army is pretty smart, pretty good. But thing is, Inka was just trying to buy time, and if he could buy a decent amount of time mining from two bases, and then as I was saying, with that army trade reasonably well with what MC had, then MC on one base against Inka two base, uh, Inka might have been able to take it. But MC is like, you know, I'm not even going to screw around on this. I'm not going to leave it to micro. I'm going to leave one sentry here and go kill you. Uh, all right, so that's that's all smart. there is to say on that match. It was really that smart. Kind of have to go into game number two. Um, one of the one of the cooler plays that I've seen in a PvP. Yeah, Brandon cool. Inca should not be up in that part of the map. Mm. You know, well, that's what I was talking about before. Is he has no way to deal with force fields. What he needs is the warp prism, which he was getting. He was rallying out, but uh, he could have tried to do a maybe a minor engagement in the middle of the map as the come as the army's coming up because the stalkers tend to move mm. into the front. That's that's so true. Sometimes you can like as you're running away, just turn around and shoot them down, and then. The Keep thing running. is, if, if they catch you with force fields one time, everything's shredded. Yeah, that's true. That's true. It's of course, sentries are slower, so, I mean, if you can kind of map it up, but yeah, mm -hmm. you know, it's hard. It's funny, the PvP way back used to be only Colossus-based after uh, Four Gates kind of got defended a bit. So, sentries were so bad back then, but nowadays, sentries are like everything because it forces a Colossus, which costs like so much money, and you can have like two mortals with the price of Colossus, basically, and it's just so funny. I don't know. No one else thinks it's funny. I think it's funny, though. It's funny, guys. I'm just a snob, man. <laughs> I'm like, no, guys. It's really complex to be really funny. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We are going to go into game number two. The map is up. been chosen by Inca. It's dual site. I don't know. I have a feeling he's going to do something out there. He always does. Yeah. Maybe even a proxy. Yeah. I have no idea. I wouldn't be too surprised that. Right. I'll we'll let you know. know. All right, guys. It's time. Do this tasteless with me is my homeboy Artosis. We're here at the GSL Codes. See, 